Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video real quick and show you this turtle that my wife found. Uh, now there's some people that are saying it's a snapping turtle, but it doesn't have any of the snapping turtle characteristics that I've ever seen. Uh, let's see if I can get a shot of his stomach. That's what it looks like from underneath. Um, he doesn't have any of the spiky ridges around his tail like snappers do. He's a really short tail, which snapping turtles, alligators, and alligator snapping turtles usually have really long tails. Uh, he's not snapping at me, which a snapping turtle probably would have bit me five times already. Um, I can't, I've looked for hours trying to find out what kind this is, and I can't find anything on it. Uh, I looked up West Virginia native turtles that said there's only 13 native turtle species to West Virginia, and not a single one of them looked like that. Uh, so I don't know if somebody brought it here and let it go, which I, I, I doubt, oops, which I doubt, but um, if you guys have any ideas, he doesn't even really, uh, I thought maybe a map turtle because of the, the ridge right here on his spine, but map turtles have really colorful skin, and he doesn't have any any really bright yellows on his legs or his face like a map turtle would have. Um, he barely has any really any color on his shell. I tried to take some water and wipe it off and it's not really that's that's really all that that showed up. A couple he's got three yellow spots on each side and then a little bit of yellow on the on the ridge of his shell. Um, but if you guys have any ideas, please let me know so I know how to take care of this thing. I don't, I don't even know if it's a land or a water turtle yet. Uh, it seems to prefer being on land than being in the water, but for right now I only have this small bowl, so that could be why. <clears throat> uh, any ideas, let me know. Thanks.